Well, I really, one of the newest highlights actually happened yesterday. Um, I won the Lyrical National Champion at Dance Life Unite and I thought that was an amazing feeling. Like, just it was a great experience too. Another one of my, I actually have three highlights, but another one is getting Rebecca Davies' assistant in her squad. I thought that was like one of the best things I've ever experienced. Well, hi guys, and welcome to the first JRD Dance Media Podcast. I am so excited to have you here, um, but probably more exciting is to have my daughter on, on this flagship episode. So Bella, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. It's an absolute pleasure. I'm a little bit nervous, but also a little bit excited. So um, let's get into it and start with, say, how old you are and how long you've been dancing for. I'm 11 years old and ever since I've been little I've always been in the studio since my mum was a dance teacher and I've just always like loved the studio and being there. Oh that's fantastic and where are you dancing now? I dance at the Academy Australia. And how long have you been there for? Um, two years. So being in the studio from such a young age, was there a moment where you thought, oh I love this. When did you first discover your passion for dance? Well, ever since mum was teaching and I saw her teach everyone, and I was like, wow, they're just amazing. And I was like, I wanted to be like that. So that's how I kind of felt, fell in love with dance. Oh, that's really beautiful. Now, out of all of the different dance styles and routines that you've done over the years, what would you say your favourite dance style is? And is there also a routine that's kind of stood out to you that you've loved more than anything else? Well, I've always really loved lyrical and contemporary, but the routine that I'm really enjoying this year is actually one of my newest routines, which is called The Winner Takes It All. It's a beautiful lyrical piece um, choreographed by Miss Nat at the Academy. I really enjoy it and love having the challenge for it and yeah, I just really like doing it and having fun with it. And what do you enjoy most about being a dancer? Well, I love performing and like connecting with the audience and like feeling, making them feel how I'm feeling throughout the routine. So like if I'm happy, I want them to feel happy and it's like if I'm alone in the dark, Let's just say that's a bit like dramatic, but like I want them to feel how I'm doing it. So it's like, I guess you just want to connect with the audience. Now, do you have any dance role models or people who inspire you in particular? Well, all the full timers at my studio definitely inspire me, but there's this one girl, she actually just got a scholarship to go to the New Zealand Ballet. So she's like really stood out to me and she's just a stunning dancer. There's this also another beautiful dancer. She's amazing. She, uh, she's actually a part of a radar program for Rebecca Davies. She's a part of the squad and she's just amazing. So like Tara Bajan and Lacey, they're just all beautiful dancers and they just stand out to me a lot. Well, it seems like you do a lot of dancing and a lot of your time is devoted to that. So. Talk to us a little bit about how you manage to balance your schoolwork and dance. Well, for the past few years, it's kind of been ups and downs, but it's mainly you just go to school and straight to dance, or otherwise I've been doing the part-time day lately, so I'll just miss the Wednesday of school and just go to dance instead. And this year we're actually doing something very different. So we're doing distance education this year. So I will be dancing a lot more. So talk to us a little bit about perhaps some of the challenges that you've faced on your dance journey and what you've done to actually overcome them. Well, my, I was actually really nervous when I first missed Nat Private. Like, I don't know why, I was just nervous about it. But once I had it, I enjoyed it and I really had a great time learning new different things and new style and how to like properly move. So, 
Yeah. And are there any specific dance techniques or dance moves that you find particularly challenging but excite you? Well, like traditional contemporary, like really challenged me, but it's also really exciting to learn how to move. Same with like Rebecca Davies and her Raider squad. She always loves challenging us, but it always makes us excited because once we get it, she's always like, yes, now do more. And it's always like just a great feeling to feel. Now, a little bit earlier, you spoke about conveying emotion when you dance. You said if you feel happy, you want the audience to feel happy. If you're in a dark, cloudy place, you want them to feel in a dark, cloudy place. So how do you as a performer actually give those emotions to people? What is it you're doing? Well, I usually listen to the music and find out what they're actually talking about. Because once you understand what they're talking about in the music, it just comes so much more naturally to just give that to the audience as well. Now, obviously, one of my favourite things to do is to capture photos and videos at dance competitions. So I can't not talk about dance competitions. So what are some of the highlights and things that you believe are the benefits for dancers to, to be in a dance comp? Well, I always love being at dance comps, like the vibe and the energy you get off each other and just like even if you don't know someone, it's always like the energy you can get off them, which is just really amazing, like how you can do it. And it's just like really fun to attend, like even if like, like just going back to performance wise, like you can try and use like different expressions but it tells the same story just in a different way. And what about some of the highlights more specifically? Well I really one of the newest highlights actually happened yesterday. Um, I won the Lyrical National Champion at Dance Life Unite and I thought that was an amazing feeling like just it was a great experience too. Another one of my I actually have three highlights but another one is getting Rebecca Davies' assistant in her squad. I thought that was like one of the best things I've ever experienced. And another one for me is going to Queensland and getting top 10 in showcase at Dotty. So what do your friends, and I mean I am your family, but your friends and your family think of all of this dance that you're doing? Well, most of my family's like pretty supportive about it. Like they're always like, oh, you're going to have like the best career and go through this really good journey. Our friends don't really like say anything about it. Like, yeah. Now there's always so much going on for you. So what is it you do to stay motivated and disciplined and make sure that that focus stays on all those goals and dreams that you've got? Well, a lot of it's like just doing it very daily and a lot. Like it's just like keep those dailies going like every day or keep it just going through the week, if not once a week. And like just wanting for the goals, like drive and like adrenaline to get the goal too. And so what are some of those goals and dreams that you've got? My goals and dreams is to be a assistant well, I am an assistant, but to tour around the world with Rebecca, I'm one of her newest assistants, so it might not happen until like a few years later, and if it doesn't, I've just really enjoyed having her as my teacher and just the vibe she gives off. Uh, one of my goals this year was actually to make it into the Australian Ballet, and I auditioned for that a while ago and I got in. Well, there's some pretty big goals and dreams. Um, and of course, Mum and I will always support you all of the way. Uh, so what advice is something that you would give to other budding dancers, new dancers who are just getting into things? What would you say to help them along their journey? Well, honestly, just follow your dreams and just have the passion to do it and enjoy yourself. Well, that's really, really beautiful. Thanks again for coming on, Bella. I really appreciate it. 
Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching the first podcast with JRD Dance Media. There'll be many more to come. So if you'd like to be a part of the podcast, all you need to do is head to jrddancemedia.com. There is a form on there entitled podcast, which you can fill out. You do need to be over 18 or have a parent fill it out for you if you'd like to be involved. But uh, talk to you guys soon.